Okay, so I'm going to do a training on the accessing the city program, which is required by some courses here at the College of Social Work. So I'm going to first go to the informational page, which is a lengthy uh, link, and it's not something I'm going to read here, but that should be posted in your Carmen course, your syllabus, and I will put it in the comments or description of this video as well. If you go to this page, you'll learn a little bit about the purpose of this training and how to access. I'm not going to talk so much about the purpose. Um, essentially, it's to protect human subjects and research. Um, it's a course, you know, about ethics and ethical conduct of research. So once you get to this page, there are some step-by-step -step instructions. So if you're a new person who has never done this before, you essentially just need to go to the City Program website and follow the steps below. So you'll have to confirm your email address. That'll set up your profile. Um, I'm an existing user, so I can't show you that step, um, but it should be fairly simple. You'll just tell them that you're new to the program. Uh, click Create Account once your email address populates, and um, we can get started with the rest of the training. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go to go.osu.edu slash CITI, or city, and I'll open that in a new page. But the link is here. There's also a help desk. This is the Office of Research help desk that's at the university. They're the ones who run this service. So you see, I'm not logged on, um, so I need to type in my username, name.number. Click Login. And this is what I get when I log in because I already have an existing training. Um, what you get is going to look a lot like this. So after you first set up your email address and confirm that, you'll get instructions to select what curriculum. For most people, and please confer with your faculty if you have any questions, but for most people, including those students enrolled in Social Work 3401, Social and Behavioral Research Human Research Courses is the one that you need to check here. You don't need any of the rest of this. You don't need anything about question two or question three, just social and behavioral research, human research course. After you select that, you can click submit. And you see that's the one I already have, so it, my status says passed. Um, you won't have that when you first start the course, of course. So I'm going to click on that, but you'll start at introduction. You will read the content, and then you'll take the quiz for each module. You have to take each quiz for each module, and you cannot move on until you've already passed. You have to pass within 80%. Um, most of the modules, there are five questions, so you need to get a four out of five. If you do not take, or if you do not successfully pass the quiz, you can go back, review the content, and take the quiz again. Um, you can take it as many times as you need to. It's really, a, this is a mastery learning uh, set of modules. So after you've spent a couple of hours doing these, you can log on to this course again or immediately get your completion report. So if you click print report, it'll have a list of all of the courses you've done, when you pass them, etc. And this is a PDF. It's highly recommended that you save this. Um, either you can right click and save as or you can use the save button in your browser depending on which web browser you're using and I'll do that and this is the PDF that if your faculty member wants verification that you've passed this course this is what you need to upload so I will go to um, Carmen and often you will find that your instructor has set up a Dropbox under activities Dropbox and here it's just called turn it in and I will click add file upload just like submitting any Dropbox item mine is saved in this folder and then click done that's all I needed to do just as a quick review you need to go to go.osu.edu slash CITI if you're new it'll ask you to confirm your email address if you're not it'll give you some different steps you need to select the social and behavioral research course from this page. So social and behavioral research, human research course. That's it. You don't need any of the rest. Those will just slow you down and provide you additional work. 
need to click submit at the bottom and then you need to begin the course at the introduction read and at the end of each module there's a continue to next module or take the quiz um, just take the quiz make sure you get your 80 percent or higher if not refresh the content and um, attempt the quiz again and that's really all you need to do your instructor only on the certificate only tells when you passed they can't see how many times you took the quiz or you know how long when you took the quiz so there's nothing you know there's no negative to having to take it once or twice that's perfectly reasonable once you're done you just save your completion report from the main menu go to print report save this as a PDF either from the save button in your browser or right click save as and you upload that or send it to your instructor as required.